What happens a lot of times is just, you know, bad. Uh, oh, nice. We can actually climb up this. Cool. Nice shortcut. Thank you, game. Make it up for my idiocy. Do, 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 do. Good climbing. Let's jump normally. Yeah, as soon as I as soon as I went towards that uh, direction, I was like, you know what, this is probably the wrong way, <laughs> and then I fell. Whoa! Oh my goodness, pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of like a, a Ninja Gaiden there, episode or a level. Should? It'll be fine. Don't worry. Uh, that's kind of one of those. Yeah, well, we never know really with Sean. Either way, we're here now, so... <laughs> Oop, uh, scoot over, please, bud. Jeez. Pretty crazy. Not so worried about missing the building is dying. It's kind of all right, guys. Well, here we go. Sub love. Now, open your shoot. Could have maybe got a shoot that wasn't extremely bright colored. I mean, at least it's not orange and yellow or something. But I mean, come on. There we go. Let's ease up a little bit. Probably take that stuff with you, no? Or wear gloves or something? I'll just not give a crap. Alright, good times. That wasn't so bad. So, you must be Desmond. Ooh, who's this guy? Not exactly what I expected. But I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look. I'm not supposed to kill you. Oh, bring it on. Anything about fucking you up. So you've got to the cap. Wow. Crisscross indeed. It'll make you jump. It'll also make you pass out from getting blunt force trauma to the head. <laughs> so who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though... I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Okay, well, how about we put the power source in, and then we return to being Connor. Gotta admit, being Connor isn't actually as bad as I originally thought. Although I originally didn't think it was that bad, but like as I've mentioned in a couple other things, um, chatting with my buddy who just, you know, is a big Ezio fan uh, and not a big Connor fan, kind of tainted that a little bit. That's okay. Always good to listen to the opinions of friends and others. Do you uh, help mold your own a little better? Okay, so this I'm assuming is just a little sparkly spot. That's not where you put the power in. I think there was. Um, a uh, spot, a socket up here. Was there not? Once again, it's been probably a month since I played the game. I can't believe it's been that long. I don't, I don't know if it actually has been. It feels like it, but um, for someone who likes to finish LPs, you know, in a timely manner nowadays, after, especially after 
whatever one I did that took forever. I've gotten kind of bad about that. Hello. Wonder what's inside. Only one way to find out. Hopefully this will also give us a little bit better defenses for our plays. So a lot of music for, uh, well, a couple slabs moving around, but I like it. I like it. Good times. Oop, no, down we go, please. Let's go see what we unlocked. Hopefully something important and not just another area. Because <laughs> another area would be nice, but another area with something important would be nicer. Hello, sparkly stone. What is a fact? Is it fixed? Oh God. Immutable? Certain in its existence and only awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. Really? If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand? More? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? Guessing it didn't work. We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. Seems a little open-ended. You should be a little bit more but accurate, I would think. To be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control, to direct the beam, to enthrall the world, to speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. Hmm. Interesting. Now, is that the extent of the new area for us? Because I'm assuming there's a new power socket area uh, for when we find the next power node um, up here somewhere. It's just... Oh, no? Okay, cool. Glad we checked. Our first instinct was to travel back to change the past. But we could not find a way. But forward... We could look forward, and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves, and know what was to come. First we watched to learn if our work would succeed. But the answer was always the same, so we moved on to other things. But she remained. The one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking and instead began to speak. She called out across time in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. Hmm. I'm tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want. But they are. like grasshoppers in our own eyes and we look the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. Shut up, Dad. Jeez. You're not I helping. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was 
be Apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the Apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Hmm. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. Hmm. Can we get over here yet? I would assume not. Oh, hey. Wow, oh, they really opened up a lot of area. Oh, can we? Yeah, they really opened up a lot of area. Okay, sorry with the camera panning around so much, trying to quickly figure out what's going on here. And if there's anything for us to actually do right now, or if it's Something we need to open up later. Oh. Oh, there we go. Let's answer that question. Here's the next power node, which uh, we have yet to come across. Outside of that, I'm assuming... There's nothing up here. I'm assuming. Son? I, uh... I owe you an apology. I, I shouldn't have lashed out like that. You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. Never mind that we live rather extraordinary lives. I kind of liked my ordinary one. You can't escape who you are, Desmond. So I've noticed. Look, it's silly for us to go back and forth like this. I admit, I did a shitty job raising you. I apologize, I'm sorry. <laughs> But it's important you understand it didn't come from a bad place. You're my son. I love you. I guess I was so busy trying to make sure nothing bad happened, I didn't consider the consequences. Truce. I can't believe it's taken me so long to ask, but... How's Mom? She's not... No, 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 no. Your mother is fine. We decided it was safer if we split up for this job. Always assuming the worst. <laughs> for good reason. Can I at least say hi to her? I'm sorry, it's too risky. Maybe when we're done. Right. When we're done. Look at me! O okay, can you game give me back proper control? Have Thank you. Have we ever tried to make peace with the Templars? Throughout our history, there have been moments. Several, in fact. But... God, that's really close. It's impossible. There are existential differences. Insurmountable. If there were to be unity, it wouldn't be a truce so much as a submission. But knowing what's about to happen, wouldn't it make sense to try and talk to Vidic? Come to an arrangement, even if it's only temporary? We'd all be so busy watching our backs, nothing would get accomplished. <laughs> Imagine that. We're more productive at war. Well, have we ever tried sending in someone? Doing to them what they did to us with Lucy? Or Cross? We have, and it's never worked. We've sent people who were either too weak and found themselves turned, or too strong and were unable to carry out the charade. Hmm. I just feel like we all want the same thing. We use the same words, but that's all they are, words. In the end, it all comes down to freedom. We seek it, they detest it. And so there's never an end to the fight. Not until one side is completely gone. Is that even possible? Probably not. Our two groups have existed in one form or another since, well, since forever. But things can be better than they are. And that's something. Hmm. <laughs> 
Interesting. Did you look for me, Dad? When I was gone? Every day. Come on. I mean it. Every night I'd look, searching for your name or variations of it, hoping you'd slip up. Abstergo only found you first because they had better access. A few more days and it would have been me. Well, I'm here now. And I'm glad. Do you think Lucy regretted what she was doing? I used to think I knew her well, but clearly that wasn't the case. So I really can't give you an honest answer. She seemed so sincere, though. Like she really wanted to make a difference. Yes, well, when I first met him, I thought the same thing about Cross. It just keeps happening over and over again. What does? Everything. Don't get weird on me, Desmond. No, it, it's fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. All right, then. You should think about getting back in the Animus. We've got to find that key. We should probably get back to Connor. Okay. All right. But before that... I know everyone thinks I'm being silly, but I can't shake the feeling we're being watched. We are. We are being watched. By Juno. Or some version of her. Do you think it's a recording? Or is she a ghost? Or something else? Is she talking to us the way Minerva talked to Ezio? No clue. I mean, who knows what else they were working on down here? There's still so many rooms we don't have access to. But do you think she's like literally down here, waiting somewhere, still alive? Still alive? That's mental. That I mean she'd be at least. 75, 80,000 years old? So powerful, yeah, but not that powerful. They came down here looking for a way to survive. Maybe they found one. Mm, probably. Was it weird seeing Cross? What do you mean? It's different for you. You don't know about what happened, I guess. For a long time, he was important to us. He was a different person. Sean said he was a sleeper agent, like Lucy. It was different. She made a choice, but Cross, if you read the files, Abstergo just... They... They did terrible things to him. <laughs> Rebecca? You're lucky. We all are. We have people who care about us, who look out for us. He was all alone, and the people he thought he could trust, they used him. Did you know him? No, but I knew Hannah. Who's Hannah? Who's that? She tried to help him. She trusted him. But there was a raid about a year ago. She stayed behind so the others could escape. Tried to reason with them to see if she could fix things. Well, what happened? What do you think happened? He killed her. That's what he does. That's all he knows how to do. Sometimes seems like that's all any of us know how to do. Rebecca. I just want to be alone right now. Okay. Let's go talk to Sean before we wrap things up. So a lot of story to ingest on this episode. And probably a lot will be every episode now that I'm kind of going to go for the main story missions for the most part. Not going to be wandering around too much. Oh, Desmond, there you are. Can I ask a favor? Maybe. When this is all over... I'd like to try turning the dial back on the Animus. Like, all the way back. To the time of the first civilization. You think it would work? There was no real loss of fidelity when you visited Altair. Then again, that was about a thousand years ago, and I'm looking at going back at least 70,000 more. Sure, I'd be up for it. It'd be interesting to see what things were like back then. Excellent. I think it would prove most enlightening. Uh, I don't know about enlightening, so but it'd be this interesting. this is how it started. What are you up to? Just brushing up on my American history. I, I say history. They certainly teach you strange things in the States. Like what? Well, for all the talk of this being a revolutionary war, it was a civil one. Well, not that kind of civil. I mean, there was no America versus Britain. It was Brit on Brit action. Oh, well. And you can clearly see how the whole thing it. got started. One war gave birth to the other. You mean the Seven Years' War? Exactly. 
Seems the Crown overspent in its attempt to keep the French out, wound up with a great deal of debt. Believing that the colonists should help to shoulder the burden, new taxes were created. It was a reasonable request, even if Parliament was rather, well, undiplomatic about it. Well, it's not really fair to tax people for a war they didn't want any part of. What? Didn't want any part of? Did you not notice George Washington with Edward Braddock? He was right there in the middle of it. So here you have the Crown spending who knows how much money to secure a place for the colonists to thrive, and then, when they ask for a little bit of help... Right, look, think of it this way. King George and the colonists, they all go out to dinner, right? And when the bill comes, George asks for them to kick in and pay their share. Fair enough. But keep in mind, he's been taking them out to dinner gratis for decades now. But the colonists, oh no, they insist they only had a glass of water and a side salad. Never mind the table's full of half-eaten food and empty bottles of wine. Now, when the king points this out, what do the colonists do? Oh, they flip the table over and they storm out the restaurant. Probably intending to turn later and burn it down. <laughs> you left out the part where the king pointed a gun at the colonists and asked them to cover dinner for everyone in the restaurant. Right, right, yeah, interesting take. If he pulled out a gun, and I'm not sure he did, it would only have been after the hundredth failed attempt at getting them to pay their fair share. But how do you define someone's fair share? Oh, well, with a war, apparently. <laughs> That was a really good dialogue. I enjoyed that thoroughly. I how many other places like this exist? That was pretty good. There are dozens of them all over the world. And somehow no one's ever found one before us. I don't think that's true. Oh? When I was at Abstergo, Vidic talked about silencing discoveries made by non-Templars. And I'm sure Abstergo has dug up plenty. The things they must know. Regretting throwing in with us? <laughs> no. Just looking forward to when we can finally... Trounce those bastards so I can dive into their archives. Oh, I think I found a lead on another power source. Ooh. Later, Desmond. I'm in the middle of something very important right now. Just, that's a rule. Just follow that as a rule. But you said power source. You asshat. Ah, bloody holy hell. Nonetheless, before I fall out of my chair there, I am going to cut the episode. So thank you everyone very much for watching. I hope that uh, you all enjoy the return of Assassin's Creed 3. And this will be something that I can finish up maybe in a week or so. So you guys can actually get some progress and closure. So as always my friends, thank you very much. Have a good day. And sub love.